So, well, what a morning. There's so much going on today that I'll try to give everybody a recap. Hey, I think that's actually the peak of San Jacinto right now. Maybe, I could be wrong. It's up there though. That looks really tall and scary. I uh, camped with people last night, uh, Stark, Magic, and Vortex. And John met me this morning. He actually got there super early because he's Spider-Man, he's super fast. And we did the snow training. I made a lot of mistakes. I feel really confident now though. <laughs> I went I'm at it the wrong way. I don't know how that happened, but I was able to stop every single time. I think it's a lot like driving a car. At first you're wobbly and the more and more you do it, you'll get better. I did put blood in the snow because it rubbed on my belly and my big belly started bleeding. So there is uh, some blood. I didn't take a picture of that. That's gross. This kind of snow isn't really scary. I'm at like 7,500 feet and this isn't as scary as like the Apache and stuff uh, drop off that were pure ice. I just have to go really slow and don't want to slip and our pulse hole. So I'm getting off the mountain and I'll be back for you, San Jacinto. And when I come back, I'll be much skinnier. So I'll finish the few uh, like 15, 20 miles I had to skip because it's not worth risking my life on the PCT, but I'm gonna get it done this year. I feel really skinny, all my clothes are falling off me. I can get the belt around my waist. I forgot to put it on right here. I need to do that though. I just need to walk and get some miles in. I haven't had cell service in a long time, so man, really curious what's going on in the world. So, uh, but too dangerous. Uh, let me check and see if I have cell service once I get to a safer spot, but uh, Time I get to a safer spot, there'll probably be no cell service, so. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful, the mountain in the background and everything, it's uh, it's gorgeous, so. Okay, nice and slow, don't panic. Uh, lower I go, I can maybe get out of snow. Where I'm from, if there's snow on the ground, schools are closed, everything else, there's never been snow though, but I think even if it was a quarter of an inch, everybody would panic and say, Everything must be closed. Nobody go to work. Everybody stay inside. Remain inside until we give it an all clear. Well, I slipped up there. I don't know. The sun's in the way. Hopefully it's not glary. It would almost been better just to slide down since I got that sliding. I would have felt safer, but you have to put on all the gear and stuff. So maybe being lazy. If it was dangerous, I wouldn't get it. But down here, it's kind of got a little bit flat. So I'm walking. I would say some areas here uh it's like three to four feet of snow uh this part's really hard actually this part's safer than what the trail is i guess because walking on the trail it uh it angled it more and made it more icy like it wasn't as nice this has a little bit of a cushion to it if you look at my footprints you kind of see them sinking and they're kind of sinking in over there and so that's what you want. You want it to sink in a little bit because then it gives you a little bit more stability. But up there, it doesn't sink in or anything. So it's just ice and not all of it has nice footprints. And I see why somebody else slipped up there too. Incredible. The mountain, the blue, the green, dark green trees. It's up. Okay, look it really closely. You see that? Guess who did that? Ah, okay. Hey, 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 oh, I think my butt might be bleeding a little bit. So I'm wearing shorts and uh, it was just supposed to be a control slide. I saw somebody else do it like five feet. So I'm like, right on, I'll do it too. Nope, that was like, okay. <laughs> oh, well, I got down that much faster though. Oh, my poor. My poor butt though. I may have to go see a doctor. I need to check out my butt just to make sure it's okay and not bleeding or anything. Cause, ow, it hurts right now. Look in front of me though, it looks like it's uh, half snow, half uh, trowel. And then way up there, I don't see any snow on that side, but. Okay, I'm gonna be so glad to get out of the snow. All right, love everybody. and. Keep your keep my butt in your thoughts because it hurts. <laughs> and I hope it's okay. <laughs> Alright, love everybody. Bye. Well, I didn't melt any snow, so I'm so thirsty. So hungry. 
I left my backpack a quarter of a mile up because I had to walk downhill to find this, but oh my god, look how clear that looks. Eh, don't need those. Okay, I'm gonna sit here for like 20 plus minutes and just drink as much as I can and uh, bring up two bottles when I can't drink anymore. Oh my god, this looks amazing though. Uh, it's like a million dollars. I just got a million dollars, everybody. Oh, it's beautiful. So, if curious, what I'm doing is uh, I put the water in there. I'm filtering it just in case. And then I put uh, I push it into here. You have to squeeze it in. And then I got one of these uh, energy packages. So... I did uh, the first one, I've already drunk one liter. I'm gonna drink this. I almost think I'm so thirsty still. I'm gonna ask and maybe see if I can drink a whole gallon. Well, it's about four liters. So I'll see though after this though. So, well, even after a liter, I feel really thirsty. So, oh. Oh. Oh yeah, I don't want to just guzzle it and make myself sick though either, but oh wow, that's good. And maybe I should make some lunch. Man, I've only done like four miles, but with all that snow and stuff, whew, that's a lot of work. It's exhausting. So okay, I'm gonna get back to drinking. <sighs> Three liters of water. I got two with me too. So after that, I started feeling sick. So, wow, I feel much better. I'm just kind of walking downhill. I'm actually doing a, it's switchbacks. So switchbacks is like a Z down a mountain kind of thing. And there's no more snow, but look at these. I've never seen so many wind turbines. They almost like, like little robots or something in a line. That's just nuts. I remember in environmental science, we had to do a presentation on wind turbines. So I did that and the counter argument for the other team was, oh, they kill a lot of birds. So I had to come up with reasons why wind turbines were really good. And oh, it's been a while now, but let me think. So wind turbines, oh, they're getting cheaper and cheaper. And really the, it's just the design, there's actually different designs newer better ones that aren't killing the birds so it's kind of like well the first attempt is not so good <laughs> uh, and it's really expensive but with a lot of new technology is expensive so I remember giving the argument that just because right now it uh you know May not have it has a, some a lot of negatives that uh, we definitely shouldn't be like. No, let's just throw that idea away. Uh, <clears throat> and I bet more people are going to come out and create new ones. And I try to show, show some designs and stuff like that. I remember, so honestly, I think I won the debate because <laughs> if uh, we uh, just because. Our first rocket we try to send into outer space blew up. Does that mean like, oh, we should give up on outer space? No, it means we should try again and again and again and again and a thousand times uh, if we have to. Uh, this planet's awesome. I love this planet and I'm definitely all for going green, but also, with or without humans, this planet isn't going to sustain life forever. And I honestly feel like we're the only species that may be able to save all other species. And yeah, it might be a Jurassic Park kind of scenario where we can get DNA and try to bring species back if we want to. But we can actually leave the planet. So 
let's say a solar flare comes or a giant asteroid or our sun for some reason changes a lot quicker than we thought it would or our galaxy's running into a black hole. <laughs> I think we're the only species right now who is capable and uh, collectively as a society, we're capable of, uh, you know, saving all the species in the planet. Maybe we can uh, have a whole water planet dedicated to wells and stuff like that. And that'd be so cool. We put certain people in charge who just absolutely love wells and we'll make a whole planet dedicated to them. I think the potential for the human race is just amazing. And yeah, I watch a lot of Star Trek, Stargate, all the sci-fi stuff. So I may be really optimistic about the human race and what we're capable of as a collective society. Individually, I can't, I can't build a rocket, but put a thousand really smart people together and wow. Well, look what happened here. Rock slide. Just, wow. Uh, so that's like some Tomb Raider stuff right there. I uh, wonder what, uh, when that happened. Maybe a storm? Don't know. That's crazy.